Well, between October and March, Louisiana saw near record rainfall. In fact, more than 50 inches of rain has been recorded since the fall, according to NOAA. The wet weather caused crop quality and yield losses in 2009, and it's also affecting the planting of this year's crop. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Kristen Oaks shows us, for some farmers, planting in these conditions can be a sloppy, muddy mess. A wet winter is keeping Lynn White Put it on top right here. tied up on his family farm in Monterey, Louisiana. White is replacing a washed out culvert like you, while he waits on drier, warmer weather. The rain and has delayed us on some burn down because of water standing on the ground. But any of the fields that got caught in the rain last fall, we're looking at having to go over them three or four trips and it's going to have to get dry before we can do that. We still got water in the ruts now. And field ruts like these are partly to blame. It started raining and the rice, we couldn't get the water off and couldn't get the field dry. And as a result, we've got ruts that we got to plow out this spring. The story is the same for neighboring farmers. It's been a wet spring. Uh, have not been able to get any field work. A lot of ruts to deal with from harvest. Travel 130 miles south to the LSU Research Station, where farmers are also dealing with the same issue. We're farming in close proximity to the Mississippi, and we've had a lot of seepage water due to high water stages in the Mississippi River in the last 20 years. This is the first time that uh, I can remember not being able to get uh, rows drawn up in the fall for spring planting. And the late planting will affect more than just the harvest time. A delayed planting for soybeans could put us in a situation with insect problems, with uh, heat in August. But last week's warm weather was a good sign for Louisiana farmers. It, it feels good to get outside, get something accomplished, feel like we're making progress. Hopefully, those sunny skies will get Lynn White out of the ditch it this a little bit. and back into his fields. In Monterey for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, I'm Kristen Oaks. USDA crop analysts say the 2010 Louisiana crop progress is not dramatically behind as of yet. If weather conditions continue to improve and allow for continued planting, the harvesting of rice, corn, and soybeans should be complete by early October.